Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Quill Korea, Best Korea, here in Europa Universalis 4. We, uh, we are going well. We did some pretty crazy moves in the last episode. Um, if, I don't know about you guys, but if I was Jean Zhu over here, I'd be a little bit nervous about what's happening. They are the hole in my donut. Um, and uh, at some point, they'll clearly have to get swallowed up because border gore issues. A couple of you said, hey, you should really colonize Siberia before Russia does. I mean, I could sort of see that idea, but the thing is, in terms of value, there's not that much. We may want to colonize, like, we may not care about Siberia, uh, but we may want to colonize more of gear and just to make sure we have a dominance over the trade. Uh, but the thing is, they're so low value terrain, whereas if I was colonizing just more in America, then we'd get a lot more trade value out of it. Yeah, it's, it's an idea, it's a possibility. Um, we do have a rebel uprising threatening, but it's actually not that threatening. They're at 80%, and it's actually a 0.1% chance increasing their progress on the Jean Joux Separatists, and 0.6% chance over here. Of course, it could still happen, but they're also both really tiny rebellions, so I'm not worried about hitting any buttons here. I do have my, uh, my minions, I was about to say. What games have I been playing? I do have my troops on rebel busting for now, although at some point that's likely to change. And yeah. Almost done harmonizing over here, the Pagan Religion Group, which just does include Ten Tengri, of course, and people had some questions about that. Um, so we're actually going to be harmonizing quite a bit of stuff, which is going to be kind of convenient. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, our Master of Mint died. Oh, the second I unpaused. Boo! That was our um, inflation dude. You know what? Actually, inflation's close enough here. Well, we're probably going to end up having to renew a loan. So let's wait. It'll probably hit two, and then we'll just drop it. Lose admin power, lose prestige. I will take the prestige hit. In terms of ideas, yeah, we want to finish expansion. When we do finish it, we're going to get a great policy um, that we're going to want to run. Colonial expansion gives us just flat global settler increase um, and a reduction to native uprising chance by 50%. When we run that, we can change our policy to native trading here. So we'll have two 50% reductions which will bring us to 100%, same as over here. But um, it will cost us, I think, Diplo power to switch over. But it gives us more native assimilation, which means our colonies will uh, will embiggen and be better. So we're going to want that. We are going to want another advisor again. And there's something to be said about national arrest. Um, unless I don't run an advisor for a while. It's an idea. I don't like doing that because usually it's worth the money. But we might want to save a few bucks just to make sure we can... Um, uh, we can repair loans a little bit more consistently. I'm also going to go ahead and take out this fort. So this fort over here is on grassland. Costing us a little bit of money. It's not that great. I, I may build another fort. And I might do it here in Bakjak. Uh, there's some overlap in terms of terrain they cover, but that's not a big deal. But it's another mountain fort. And the mountain forts have the advantage that the tick timers are longer. There's more attrition. And if they're tick timers are longer, they're standing there and getting more attrition. It's actually a really good defensive thing. So I am going to get rid of this castle going to save us a few bucks. I'm not going to build one in Bakjak here, but I think that's likely going to be what happens perhaps after we um, um, eliminate our, our debt and we have an opportunity to build again. We may look into that. We are working on annexing uh, Nivka. We could probably... Yeah, we could annex you. Maybe we want to start with that. There's going to be a problem once we annex one of them. Um, we're going to have worse Diplo rep, which is going to slow... A, Quite considerably. Actually, it's going to stop the annexation completely until that goes away. But we can get some points into it. It'd be nice if we could time it out that they happen at the same time. But it's unlikely to happen. Uh, 1562. That's 11 more years. And it's going to get stalled as soon as this thing finishes. Um, God, it takes a long time. Because we have so little Diplo rep. And meanwhile, it is going to be eating our Diplo power. Now, how do we feel about that? I mean, we're not really looking to tech up until the institution penalty goes away. We don't have any more ideas. It might be worth getting it started. And we're going to lose some Diplo rep after you get annexed. be nice to, like, just equalize it, too, but that's not going to happen. Um, it's also going to tie up a cyclone diplomat. You know what? I think that's probably not a great idea. You like me, we probably have a fairly decent boost. Yeah, not bad. Um, what? How many Diplo slots? Oh yeah, I'm over. 
Oh, and we dishonored an alliance. That's part of it. Uh, right over here. When does this go away? Oh, it's about to. So that'll speed that one up. But yeah, it might still might not make sense to annex both at the same time. Can invest a new idea? Yes, faster colonists, the extra global settler speed. That is humongous. We absolutely want that. Because each colony has a certain number of colonists they get per year. So we just boosted that like 50% faster. And then there's also percentage chance, if you have a settler there, of getting extra colonists as well. And that's each... Wait, that's percentage chance each month? Well, that's pretty significant, actually. Rains fail. Boo. We don't have a... Yeah, California. The others are pretty small. I mean, what I could do is I could look at maybe what states we're likely to going to be expanding out and just going ahead and, and stating them now. You know, are we going to have that be a full state later? Maybe. Is this one? Maybe. That one? Maybe. That's California, I think. Uh, Sayando is actually possibly the most likely one that we'd be, we're going to expand at some point in the future. So if we know this is going to be one of our states long term, because you only have so many state, or, um, state slots. So if you know it's going to be a state long term, it's you know worth doing it basically as soon as you can, because um, you can start to drop the autonomy in these two places over here. Are they particularly valuable provinces? 10 development, 11 development. Actually, yeah. All right, you know what? Um, but then I will have to go and make state cores which slows down this, but might be worthwhile. No, I don't know, maybe we'll wait. Uh, our air is indulgent, which would hurt our trade efficiency. But our air is still decent, so we'll keep them for now. Yeah, we still have the empty slot. We're gonna repay you. And two, next loan is due in December. So we're clearly gonna have to renew that one. So that'll bring us to 197. Oh, and we died. Okay, our heir is now going to lead us. And we do have disloyals. Um, our own subject nation. Let's get an idle one. Make sure that stays capped out. Uh, this is it's, it's okay. A little lower on military, but military we were still like ahead on. This this balance is kind of all right. We didn't get any new advisors, have we? No. Okay. People want to hire some Kondinkiri. Um, Did any of these hit 90%? No, actually. And they've been dropping. Uh, it's 5%. It could build up. This is Korchin Separatist. I might be able to move and special. I don't know. There you go. There's the renewal. Uh, when is the next one going to tick? January. We may be able to repay that one by then. Um, let's go ahead and do inflation reduction. Worst case scenario, we just we waste 0.03 of inflation if we'd waited, but the faster we reduce it, the faster we get a little bit of money as well. Um, actually, we might not be able to. Maybe if I reduce our maintenance, that would mean no rebel busting. Well, I'm not going to reduce the maintenance of my armies, never mind, because I need to make sure my explorer army is at full maintenance. So I'm either rebel busting or drilling with this guy, so that's not going to be a change. Um... I could debase the currency, take the corruption hit. If I'm not planning on, and then after the loan is, is repaid, do this. We're going to take a look at what it looks like here. So interest again, 1st of July. Yeah, I think that might be what we do. Just because I'm trying to avoid getting a tick of inflation here. That's going to go into June. If we debase, we'll get enough money. Yeah. Boom. I'm going to repay. And of course, we have to pay down the corruption. Uh, I'm going to save up some money first. Uh, let's hire a dude again. Let's do this. We're going to save up some money first to make sure if there's a bad event. Wait, do we still have a loan? Oh, shit. Oh, ooh. Uh, I don't care about... That's a lot of money. I hate losing stability. We'll be able to rise it right, raise it right away. Let's do this. Actually, while you were loyal, I probably should have taken some land away from you. 
boost the stability. Are any of these guys uh, loyal? Nope. So I missed my opportunity to take some more land away from someone. And yeah, you've got unrest, or you've, you've got disloyalty, but that's going to go away over time. I'm not concerned. Corruption is currently growing. Uh, well, actually, it's about even. We do have the religious unity fail, but that's going to go away soon. Colony became self-sustaining. Minority expelled. Excellent. Um, I think I'm just going to keep grabbing the coast. And the value of all the provinces is about equal. Yeah. Um, we're not going to expel either one of those. So we'll just send a regular colonist. We'll probably start expelling people from Japan, though. That's going to be one of the things. If I make those state cores, I can then expel people from there. We've got enough money for a building. Alright. Root out corruption here. Oh, harmonization of pagan faiths. Done. Harmonize with pagan faiths. We get a national unrest, permanent national unrest modifier of 0.5 now. That's in addition to the fact that we just have religious unity. <gasps> we can enact our first government reform. Or not our first, but this is a big one. This is a huge one. I wanted to have a big discussion about this. It's still likely to pop. Where is this in Josutu? Let me just stand there. Oh, it's way over here. Yeah, all right. I mean... We got a religion problem, we've got that. Now, I guess I could start another harmonization. However, I think I will wait. I will wait for our harmony to restore itself before we consider harmonizing with someone else. It's a big investment. We're gonna have to know whoever we're gonna harmonize with is someone whose land we really care about um, a lot. I could see this happening. So Tengri's all harmonized for us now, which is nice. And yeah, let's double check. Yeah, if we go here, religious unity, 97%. So it's just these guys, the Shinto and uh, Vijar, Yar, Yana, Mana, Banana, Fanana, Fofa um, are leading to some disloyalty. And we can't really convert people, but that's okay. What's the decision here? State firearms. This will happen at a technology. Oh, professionalism. Um, which gives us a bit of drill, but more expensive. Yeah, we'll get there at some point. When we can stop rebel busting. Which would mean, you know, stop warring and going more vertical. Grow taller. But, but blobbing. Okay, um, yes, Royal Marriage again is fine. Um, actually, it's a good point. Before I do anything else. So, I'll ride over here. Oh, I don't have a dude available. Well, you're capped out. Let's do this. Just wait. Royal Marriage. Okay. So we have to pick a government reform. And this is going to choose our deliberative assembly. Now, um, there are three that are probably less potent. We've got general estates here. It does give us a boost to production efficiency, which is nice if you get a lot of money for production. I mean, you know, it's not a primary source of cash, but it's as much as trade right now. If we have valuable trade goods in our provinces, and we do, this can definitely boost the money we can get from that. Okay, that's something. Um, the other thing is aristocratic court, which decreases your yearly army tradition or your, reduces the army tradition decay, which means you keep more of your army tradition. It's a lot easier to just keep it capped. That's very nice. There's Royal Decree, which increases your maximum absolutism. And this is, you know, potentially one of the strongest in blobbing because having high absolutism reduces the cost of taking territory and coring it if you just want to blob around and increasing the maximum helps with that. Then we get to the two power picks. There is the parliament over here. This enables the parliament, disables the nobility estate. However, I believe, even though Yangban administrators is sort of our nobility estate, I do not think it's gonna disable this. I think it's different for us. So it's not gonna disable that estate. It is gonna enable the parliament. It does give us minus one national unrest because the people feel like they have a voice. That That is pretty significant for stability here. Having a parliament is also theoretically really strong. In particular, if you're playing the colonization game, so the way the parliament works is this. You're gonna have to have X number of your provinces are gonna get a seat in parliament. Those provinces that have a seat in parliament, I think they basically get a, they get a boost. It's 10%-ish um, for most things in a province. Like, 
like taxes and manpower, something gets 5%, I don't know what it is. But basically it does turn a province into a power province. And if you have high development provinces, you can put that in there and they, they get better, which is pretty good. Um, and then what happens is there is, um, you're gonna be passing laws. Every, every so often, you're gonna put up a law to be voted on. You get to choose from, I don't know, like five laws are presented. You get to pick one and then a vote starts. Um, and then some seats might be for it, some might be against it. You might be able to bribe them to get something to pass. Um, some, of the, some of the policies are pretty good. Some of them are a little weaker. There are, there's one in particular that's really strong if you go with the parliament here uh, for a colonization game. And that specifically is a, I don't remember what it's called, but it lets you get a huge booster colonization speed. Um, I don't know if it gives you an extra colonist. It might, it might just give you just a lot of static colonization speed. I think it might give you an extra colonist and that is really hard to, um, to ignore. Now it doesn't show up all the time. Um, but, you know, when it does, you're going to have a big expansion boost. The thing is, the States General is also really, really, really cool. So this changes our government at this point. And I think this is very similar to how the, the Dutch, the Netherlands government works in EU4 here, where the government is going to change to a constant struggle between statists and monarchists. And what's going to happen when you pick this, when you need to choose a new monarch, you're going to be presented with either a statist ruler who is sort of winning an election and will rule for four years or you choose a monarchist ruler which means you will choose the monarch he will rule until death but it means whenever you're switching monarchs you get to choose between two of them and so you can sort of just pick the better one um plus the but there is mechanics depending on which one you pick it slides the state versus monarchist meter back and forth and it can be really strong I think we are going to try the Parliament. I haven't played with the Parliament really since, well, I think since they introduced this mechanic over here and since they changed a lot of stuff, the monarch, the, uh, the, um, the Parliament. I think I dabbled with it when they introduced it in England. That was about it. And I think things have changed pretty dramatically since then. I'm a little worried that I'm going to get annoyed by some of the micro required by this, but I think it's going to be very, very, very strong for us. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the Parliament. And yeah, we're going to get reduced unrest right away. We're going to get some uh, some notices. So first of all, if we go over here, yeah, it's here at 90, but decaying now, which is crazy. This one technically is still growing. Udej Independence. What we can do, we can uh, cancel the existing rebel stomp. And yeah, it's this province right over here. So we could focus on it more. Or what's the um, supply limit? Our army only weighs 21, although in winter it may weigh more. Because I was going to say, we could stand on here and drill, although I don't know how that works with um, rebellion busting. You're still going to have unrest. You know what? I think we will just stand here and drill over here. If you unrest, we'll go after you. Is that you? Or is that here? Oh, is that rebellion not even in my territory? It's not even in my territory. Okay. I mean, I could help. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to start drilling. Drill, baby, drill. So now we have no debate in Parliament, which increases our corruption, and we have to assign some seats as well. Um, I guess we'll sort of start doing seats. They'll assign automatically if we don't do them. What I would like to do, can I take a look at my... Like, my development... Is this in my country? Okay, can we filter it to just me? Because this is everything. Korea. Um, total development. There we go. Now, I can't slide this over. It's kind of annoying. I don't think I can make my capital a, part, a, a seat. How do I make a seat? Is there a button that I can see? Oh, right there. But if it's controlled by an estate, it doesn't work. And I'm betting my capital... Oh, my capital can be! But yeah, you can see here, there we go. 10% boost to production efficiency, tax modified, and manpower. 5% to sailors, who, who cares? So basically it makes the province 10% better. So let's do the, I don't know, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should be keeping it in my smaller provinces because they won't ask for as much, but it feels like putting it in my most populated provinces gets our best, best bang for this buck. It's probably a double-edged sword. Uh, Rian, where are you? No, that's Pyongyang. You might do as you as well, but uh, Rion Wong. I think it's centering it, so I think it's under the screen. Yeah, right there. 15 development, so we'll give you a seat as well. 
Um, well, so some others over here. Boo, booyah! So again, it centers the view. Uh, you're right there. Uh, Gyeongju is this here? Yep. Solbin. Actually, maybe this is a good time. Let's cancel the uh, this. This might be a good time for me to go and stand on places and remove the estates while dealing with their short uprising. Oh, Solbin is right where I am. Okay, no, I can do that. That's going to be okay. Uh, Olone. Huh? Is that overseas? No. Oh. Yeah, so not you. Um, Anju. Is that, uh... Oh, it's there. Too few seats. I have six. Simiang. And, you know, maybe I should keep it... You know, maybe there's a thing like, oh, only put them all in one state. I don't know. And Suo. Yeah, because I can't just click on these. Oh, Suo's across here. No, not you. Gyeongju. Right here. Boom. Now, in theory, if I wanted to add... Oh, it's in a territory, so I can't anyway. Oh, I can give more seats! So I guess there's a minimum, but maybe I can give more if I want, but I think that might make some of the voting and manipulation worse. I don't know. We're, we're going to learn Parliament together. So we have no debate. There's our seats. Start a debate. Oh my god, the, the, we get the power one right away. For the next 10 years, it is plus one colonists and the global settler increase. But we could start a vote for any of these. <laughs> the non-Confucian reformers, or neo-Confucian reformers is too long, so it's looping around, which is kind of funny. We could give loyalty to people. This might be a way if we wanted to pursue a different solution to the factionalism. We, we could buff their loyalty a lot through the parliament system, which I guess makes a lot of sense, actually. But right now, we're going to go ahead and hit charter colonies. Um, so, these guys are backing the issue, so four seats are backing it, others aren't. We could present, if we do this, currently opposing the issue, you can bribe them to back the issue, that will have the following effect. Military engineer, Hongwe will die. This is a fort defense dude. I mean, it'll cost us money because we're going to have to replace him, but kind of sort of who cares about him. You know what I mean? Uh, where do we actually go for the... How do we access the parliament? Oh, down here. Or we can give... Oh, it's only nine points? Admin, admin, diplo. We kind of need those. You know what? I'm going to do this. Chance to win 93%. I mean, I guess I could push it even further, but I don't think there's much reason to do that. Oh, we don't have a level one. Okay, I guess I'm not going to fill you for now. Royal marriage. You have been paused for a bit. Did I move you here? Oh! I was moving you here to maybe, yeah, um, strip some provinces away from some dudes. Let's take a look at our state map mode. Oh, wow. I'm almost done. So, yeah. If I wanted to do this, you're going to rise up. Yeah, eight particularists. So go there. Uh, oh, truce with Shun has ended. That is good to know. Revolt of the Reformers. End of the Revolt of the Reformers. It's only eight again. Actually, I'll wait for the month to end. There we go. So we'll get our reinforcement and our morale tick. Done. And yeah, we go to Yuxin. And that will be it. I mean, I know I can fire some dudes in this list. Oh! And you... Yeah, sure. We'll get you. That's going to be A-OK. -okay. 
Uh, royal marriage with Heishi has ended. Well, that was short. we just gotten that back, I think. There we go. Yeah, Japan doing things. You're here. We're going to remove you. And there we go. We can complete our mission. Can't have factionalism when you don't have factions. Freedom from factional strife. So no one's got any territory. Word from this. Factional strife is removed from all estates. Um, factionalism ended for 20 years, gaining 15% monthly estate loyalty gain. Event factionalism boils over, will no longer reoccur. Bam. And Korean self-reliance. We need to complete the mission, develop Korea. Oh, we haven't done this. 200 development in the region Korea. Okay, not state, but region. Um, regions. So Korea, okay, is the tip. So we're not going to gain more territory over here. Oh. So they really do want us to just throw more development in here. So we need another 21 development. What we might do is we might wait for the next institution. So the printing press, which always starts in Germany. So we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna spend development to spread this to us anyway. I think we'll just wait for that. Um supply limit's not that high here. Let's go and chew over in Solbin. It's nice and centralized. And then drill. Truce has ended, but we don't have manpower or a ton of money to go on Shun. We will keep an eye on if they start some other big war. Province improvements. Uh, we do still have one loan. I'd like to repay that before we build anything. Uh, no longer a valid rival. Oh, new land claimed. Shengju. Wait, this is one of my places. I guess it doesn't matter which button I hit. Yeah, it's right in here. Hey, it's going to be great for developing Korea. Um, because we don't have any estates assigned, but since you're already high on taxes, I will do the more tax again, because if we do decide to, um, to give you an estate, we can do the one that still gives us all the tax value. Uh, yeah, we're going to pay the money to not lose a ton of colonial development, because that's bad. Um, okay, you're not a rival, so... Alright, we're not going to do... I guess, I think they're just finishing a war, they just lost some territory here. Um... Let's revoke that, because... Sure. Do we have any live insults? Let's see here. Migrating Ming. Oh, right. The... We can embargo you, because our... Um, truce is over. Then I can insult you as well. We'll send you a turbo insult. Scornful insult. 10 power projection. Putting us above 50... Oh, look, there's some lovely filth over there. Um, giving us plus one power of each monarch point. Lovely. Korchin, you're still being cranky pants. Right over here. What I could do, you know what? Why don't I temporarily just go and boost your autonomy for a little while so we don't have to worry about anything? Deteriorating relationship with the scholars gives us a stability hit. Oh. MP in scandal. When does this, this tick? Maybe we'll continue until at least 48, after which it has a 10% chance of ending each month. If I increase this, would it change the debate timer? I guess it just takes a while. MP and scandal, so I guess this is our parliament stuff. Uh, occurred in a current debate. Seems rather than attending the sessions himself, one of the MPs, without disturbing a public peace and harassing his landlady. The outrage is great both among his peers and in the street, and is likely to haunt future parliament for years. We let it slide. Loot costing us prestige and generating local unrest in one province, or we can arrest him. Someone would now oppose charter colonies. And we'd have to bribe them. You know, the bribes are fairly small. Actually, I don't want to take the prestige hit here. Was this someone I was already opposing it? Oh, no. No, it was not.
Okay, I don't know how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and hit diplomatic support here. Okay, that brought it to 100, so it instantly passed. Yeah, okay, all right. So I guess you can wait. Or maybe you have to bring it to 100 regardless. And if it just ends, it means it didn't go through at all, and that's bad. Okay, so we have an extra colonist. Now, this is going to pop into Colonial Nation very soon. Do I want to keep doing it over here? Do I want to start a second one? I don't know, just embiggening the one colony is probably the correct answer. On the other hand... On the other hand, let's go and get a presence down here. So, this is going to be tropical, which is going to slow us down. Is there a um, natural center of trade over here? Natural harbor. Let's send you there. We can tech... I mean, unless I'm doing some development, we're kind of going to have to hit that button soon, but we don't have to do it now. If a war starts, we know we can hit it, and it's going to be a powerful boost. That's with Korchin. Um, so my vassals... Well, you're still disloyal. I don't think I'm too worried. Now, once we annex Nivka... Things are definitely going to improve a fair bit. Can I get a Diplo rep guy here? Yeah, level two. Can I fire you? Why are we losing money? Well, the corruption. Why are we gaining corruption? No, we're fine. Okay, so, I mean, if I just do this. Okay. We're still burning that away. Oh, we don't have a uh, positive stability. We should fix that. It'll cost us 89. Pretty nice. It'll also help with some of the corruption decrease. Ming has declared war on Shagate, forced tributary state. There you go. Over here. Ming's got cores all over. That's yeah, fine. Shouldn't, this would be a great time for you to declare war on Ming, and therefore a great time for me to declare war on you. Uh, you're still in Tech 11. I mean, we can go to 12 anytime. They'll probably respond by doing the same. Colony self-sustaining. Nice. Uh, so we're, I think we're just waiting for Pomo to finish. One, two, three, four, five. I think we only need five, right? Well, part of me is like, should I just start another one here? What if I'm wrong? Plus, it makes California bigger, which isn't a bad thing. You know what? I will actually send one more over here. Mostly just in case. Uh, anatomical theater. Lose innovativeness, get unrest in one area. Lose prestige, but gain innovativeness. Um, innovativeness is not going to be... Oh, okay. It drops power costs for everything. Let's do it. Let's be innovative. We're going to be great innovators. Okay, down there is good. Um, I don't know if we've expanded our trade range in a while, or our colonization range in a while. We might be able to do more exploration, but we'll probably just wait until that new colony is in place. Corruption is naturally going down, yeah, so we're not going to be spending this forever. Uh, plus one Diplo Relations. I was hoping for Diplo Rep, but I guess Diplo Relations. It is helping us eliminate a penalty here until this guy gets annexed. Yeah, this California trade node still not doing much. There's not much land there, but what can you do? There we go, you've just arrived there, and you've just arrived down here. Claims fabricated. Ming. I don't really care about your claims. We do have some idle diplomats here. You are... The thing is, if we were to declare war on you... Oh, Ming won't join in now. I was like, do you still have like 4,000 in debt, Ming? But, no. 
That's actually, if Shun declares war on Ming, we probably, the thing to do is to declare on Jian Zhu first. Or, and see, to see how busy Ming is. Now, we've got claims from other people. Um, what I might do is, I'm going to fabricate my spy network, make sure I've got my own claims here, just for some redundancy. Oh yeah, we can keep that royal marriage going, that's going to be fine. Any others? Courtchen, uh, you won't royal marry me though. Because you're cranky. Uh, Anu? Uh, despotism, okay. Livestock, sure. Oh, we gotta put a cut in here, so we're gonna do that. Right, you're at peace. You're still a tributary Ming. Dude, you gotta, you gotta, like, drop that shit, man. Although, if I were to declare war on Shun, would you jump in? No. Because debt. Although I could pay off your debt. Because, oops. Because I'm a great power, man. Oh, I can't because they're a subject nation. Interesting. I could give them gifts or various things like that, but... Hmm. Yeah, it's because of the tributary state. Spend favors, trust. I mean, we'll get there. Spend favors to increase their trust. More likely to call, join offensive calls. The thing is, they're really... I don't know how much more likely that is. And it's not going to overcome their debt. Actually, if they weren't in debt, they'd super be in favor of it. Super duper be in favor of it. Shun, what's your allies? Right, you got Japan and you over here. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I don't need to declare... I always want to declare war, but I don't need to declare war now... Again, I'm nowhere near my various caps and things, so we should probably shouldn't do that. I guess we're going to end up renewing that loan, right? Well, it's fairly new. 47, yeah. It's going to take a while to pay that off. Maybe, maybe debasing wasn't worth it. I was trying to, like, eliminate the idea of getting some inflation, but it was probably a stupid, useless trick. That is just biting us in the ass. Because we're going to be paying more money dumping the corruption than we got from debasing the currency. Right? Maybe? Maybe it's about the same. I don't know. We can save a little bit of it the more stability we have. Also, if we are ahead of time on admin tech, that would also help. But we're not. So. And that's not going to happen because we're still doing ideas. Okay. Well, we'll put a cut in here. Folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.